welcome back to my youtube channel my name is lauren if you're new i am about to devour fresh kitchen that i picked up after my hair appointment i just get full head of baby lights shadow root and then i think it's called a money piece but my hair is so long and i even got it cut so it just grows like a weed because i never wash it and collagen it's crazy that my hair used to never grow past here so so I entered a giveaway on Instagram, actually, and I won the giveaway. So enter those giveaways because people win. And it was with Bella Adar jewelry, which I have bracelets from Bella Adar that I literally wear. I'm not wearing it right now, but I those beaded bracelets that I wear all the time that a ton of you have asked me where I've gotten them from. But I won their giveaway for this chain i got this chain earring so it looks like this and you cut the chain to whatever length you want and it connects like you put your own like earring through it so i'm gonna take out this last tube and i think i want it to be long enough to attach to this cartilage piercing so i'm gonna put this in i can't like the viewfinder is too small so i'm gonna have to do it over here so i'll be right back this is what the chain earring looks like. I'll probably cut it a little bit shorter. All you do is you put, like I put this, I took the cartilage piercing out and put it through the chain so that way it connects and it can connect to any earring. You cut the chain as short as you want it to be and it can fit anywhere. Like if you only have two piercings, you can cut the chain short and put it in your first piercing and your second piercing, but you have to have two piercings for this i think it also comes in a pair so i think you can buy it separate or in a pair i know that having mixed matched earrings is really in but that's what the earring looks like so always enter giveaways because you never know which ones you could win i bought a spice rack off amazon finally because we keep our spices in this cabinet and this is what it looks like It's just a pile of, <laughs> Christian thinks it's the most ridiculous purchase, but it's just a pile of spices, as you can see. And this one is just a wire one and it has like a little, I guess you would call it like a lip, so that way they won't fall off. And it also can be expanded. So this one just stays below it and then it expands in and out. I wanted to put them on this rack and then that way it would be more organized and I would just put it, like organize it from spices that we use the most to spices that we obviously use the least. I can link it down below, I just got it. I was gonna get one of those wooden ones because it would match the inside of the cabinets, but the wooden ones didn't have this little wire bumper that would keep them from like falling off. So maybe eventually, it was cheap, so maybe eventually I'll just get the wooden one to make it look more like the cabinet, but I just got a wire one for now. So I wanted to organize it and do like a before and after. So I'm in like an organizing mood. So this is before. Okay, here is the after. I tried to put the seasonings that we use the most in the front and then either like duplicates, this is a duplicate of the everything but the bagel seasoning and then this is like another adobo seasoning that it's too tall to fit on the back rack so I put it right here. But these are like our top seasonings that we use every day and I thought it looked good with just having the everything Trader Joe's brands right here lined up and then just 
other ones, obviously onion powder and garlic powder, we, we still use a lot, but I put just on the second rack. So I think it looks so much better organized like this. I like how you can kind of customize it to whatever you need. Made it so much easier to find stuff when it's all organized like this. So this is how it turned out. I'll link the spice organizer down below just in case you want to grab it, but maybe eventually I'll just get that wood colored one that kind of blends in with the cabinet so it just looks more like it flows together. I'm trying to think of the best way to film this. I want to reorganize my closet because I just want to section it off better. Like it's kind of just, um, obviously I can't do much with these. We don't have enough room for a second dresser and the dresser that Christian brought with him is all full of his stuff. So having another dresser isn't really an option. I could keep it, I could buy a dresser and keep it in the other bedroom, but for now, these baskets work just fine. I just need to figure out a way to better... I need to drink more water. I've been really bad about drinking water on the weekends. Like, it's so easy for me to do it during the week, but on the weekends, I just fall off. It's not necessarily weekend, it's Friday, but anyways. So, this is how I have it organized now. Kind of like going out, long sleeve tops, into like, this is like my more like dressed up top area so it's all like tops that I'd wear like to dinner or out or something like that can you even see okay this is better okay so like all going out tops then it transitions into like bralettes like this then like tank tops then like cropped t-shirts regular T-shirts, casual-ish, could be dressed up, long sleeve Henleys, cropped Henleys, and it goes into cropped long sleeve sleep shirts, cropped sweatshirts that I sleep into, just cropped sweatshirts, cropped sweatshirts, cropped sweatshirts, into like workout tops, pull them out. So leggings, it's right here. I kind of need to like go through those and refold them, and then comfy shorts in this one um like jean shorts and just all types that types of shorts in there sweatpants in this big one and then jeans in this one so that's in those and then down here is where it gets like just like a little bit chaotic so let me put you down fur coats beach cover-ups rompers and flannels Sweaters, jackets, heavy jackets, like heavy knit sweaters, turtlenecks. Then it gets into work pants, so it's like work pants on knees, which these are the best things if you work or if you have like a lot of pants. You can even use these for jeans, but it like has a bunch of little racks that you like hang your clothes on. So I just hang all my pants on them, and I have two of them. So it works for work pants. I have sweaters. This is all like my work clothes that I like mainly wear for work. Blazers, all my work tops. Then it gets into sweatshirts and jackets and then like long sleeve, um, sleep shirts, comfy shirts, um, boyfriend style t-shirts and stuff like that. And then all of my extra hangers are right here. So what I wanna do is kind of move my work tops up here and move my work, like main work clothes over here. I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out, but something needs to be done. I don't know, and then I was thinking about, I have a basket down here that I was thinking, I have like a whole space up there that I was thinking about moving to up there. Like I don't even know if you can, can you see me? Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but. Um, and I don't like these shoe racks that I have. I just bought them when I moved in because I, I didn't have another option. I want my own closet because if I had my own closet, this would be mine too. Well, guess let's get to it. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of me doing all this.
Okay, this took way too long to figure out to do it like this. I feel like I kind of came to the conclusion and gave up. I was sitting on the floor for probably 30 minutes after everything was partially on the racks and then I had a bunch of them just on this chair. And I was just stuck. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to arrange them. So this is how I arranged them. Okay, let's start here. Obviously a bunch of hangers. And then like my for sure workout tops that are strictly for working out. These are considered like workout tops too, but also lounge tops. So it's not just these, but these are like strictly workout bunch and I didn't know where else to put them. So I put them here. Then it's strictly like sleep shirts that are only sleep shirts all right here. Then it transitions into like crop sweatshirts, regular sweatshirts, hoodies, flannels. Then it transitions into cardigans. So this is like a work section. So cardigans, blazers, and then my work pants. And then strictly fall winter clothing. Then up here, it's like the cover-ups, rompers, and skirts and stuff. And then here is my work clothes section, like tops that are only for work. And then it transitions into like long sleeve loungewear tops slash casual tops slash into going out tops, tighter long sleeve tops crop long sleeve tops, all the things. Then it's nicer tops, body suits. It's a small section <laughs> of clothes. Then it's casual but could wear out tops um, into like bralette tops, comfy tops, workout tops, tanks, cropped t-shirts, regular t-shirt casuals, and then like my oversized t-shirts, which there's not a lot. And then I made a pile of clothing. I'm going to sell to Plato's Closet. And whatever they don't take, I'm going to donate. Donate. And that's that. I really didn't get rid of a bunch of clothes. Um, sweatpants, I moved to here. Comfy shorts here. Leggings and biker shorts here. And then jean shorts and jeans. So, and then... That bin that was right here, I also have my yoga mat back there. I moved that bin that was down here on the floor up to up there because I can just bring this in here to climb up there and grab whatever I need. Those I just left because there's no way to organize them. These I kept how it is. I really just don't know a better way to organize it. So I just have a lot of stuff that really needs to be on the bottom shelf because it's long. But like I feel like all of this stuff should be on a lower shelf because it's all long sleeve. You know, just not a lot of room for stuff. So this took me way too long. I think it took me over two hours just to like come to this conclusion that this is how it's going to look. So yeah, this is what we're working with. So this is my progress. This is what I did and who knows how long it will stay like this. But yeah, this is it. Now after all that, it is 7.18 almost, and also my bed's not made. We are going to P.F. Chang's for dinner, and I'm debating on wearing this or changing into something a little bit nicer, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what's going on. Oh.